How's it going, everybody? I'm Jay Mendez of uh, Florida Tide Boxing, along here with Crew, uh, Crew Wolf, Wolf and Coach Dave Gomez. Uh, Dave Gomez is, was named Coach of the Year 2012 for IKF Point Kickboxing, and is also coach of uh, you know a couple of uh, division champions as well as two current uh, number one ranked fighters in the state of Florida. Uh, how are you doing, sir? Great, thank you. It's great to have you here. Um, just want to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, in your opinion, um, what what kind of experience does someone uh, does a fighter have to have in order to train with you? Um, I've trained fighters from all levels of experience. Um, most of the people that I get to work with actually are getting their first experience in the martial arts, and um, you know, working that path, um, I found that I've had uh, the best experiences working with people who have no experience in the martial arts and, and bringing them their path to becoming a fighter. Right. Right. You know, yeah, I remember uh, you had a, um, a fighter that, uh, that, that trained with you in the beginning and that he fought for me was Emilio Pineda. Yeah. And he had trained for only about four months or something like that yes. before he competed in, in, uh, in IKF. Very in Florida, naturally yeah. talented guy. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> and he, he did very well. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, which, le which leads to my next question. What, in your opinion, what do champions do or have that, say, the posers or the chumps don't? <laughs> um... I think that there's a whole list of things that come together to make some, someone or, or, or anyone in any sport a champion. Um, but one of the biggest things that I look for from a coaching point of view is, um, is perseverance. Um, the people that are willing to push through and do things that are tough, that are hard, um, even when it's tough, even when it's not their natural comfort zone, even when it's the things that they don't like to do, um, those are the ones that will prove to me that they're willing to work hard enough to be great. Um, I have a lot of people who, with, with natural talent, and um, they don't demonstrate that work ethic to me, and I, I know that they won't become the champion that I'm hoping for. Okay, um, which I guess it kind of goes hand in hand with the next question that I was going to ask. I mean, how do you know when a fighter? How do you know when a fighter has what it takes to be a champion? Like, uh, who's I guess currently competing? Um, I, I think there's many things that come together. Uh, one of them being opportunity, and another one being talent, another one being work ethic, but luck has a little bit to do with it too, you know? Right. And being in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, what advice do you give to your fighters before they get into, get into the ring? Um, really, I, I want their confidence to come from what they've done before they got in the ring. And um, in every situation, I feel like the victory comes from the things that you've done before we ever really got in there. Um, I want their confidence to come from the things they've done and the training that they've put themselves through. And um, my, my advice before they go into the ring is just to fight their best fight, to do what they do and have fun. Right, that's right. Um, awesome, that's awesome. Uh, uh, last but not least, uh, what advice would you give to, let's say, uh, you know, a spectator who's watching, looking at this type of fighting and, and says to himself that maybe he or she wants to get into this type of, of fighting. What would you, what kind of advice would you give them? Um, my advice is to go give it a try, you know, um, try a martial arts school, try with a martial arts coach, and um, as many different styles as there are, and as many coaches as there are, there's going to be one that fits you perfectly. And um, when you find uh, a, a martial arts school that you can make your home, it really becomes a family. And whether or not you choose to fight with it or not, um, it really will enrich your life and, and make every, everyone else in the, in the team and, and your own life much better for you. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. Well, sir, um that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I, I very awesome. It's an honor to have you here. Um, you have been a a, a, little, a, a very uh, avid supporter of IKF Point Kickboxing, all the events throughout all the years, and it's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Uh, on behalf of Kukedrick, uh, FTB, uh, Cortez Gomez, I'm Jay Mendez. See you guys later.